Hey there, it's Christine. Warden Willie's promise of an early spring inspired us to share some of our own predictions regarding the Toronto real estate market. The January TREP report is hopeful we might see renewed price growth with January home sales already showing increases over last year. But there's a lot at play with inflation and interest rates still putting strains on our purse strings. TREP's president, Jennifer Pierce, says 2024 had a positive start and that the Bank of Canada expects the rate of inflation to recede. If that's the case, we can let out a big sigh of relief because receding inflation also supports lower interest rates. But how do you know what will happen or won't happen? The truth is, you don't. But there are some indicators we can look at to help drive our decisions. For example, receding inflation and reduced interest rates will get some of that home buyer confidence back, which is a good sign for sellers. More buyers mean more competition, which helps stimulate price growth. Should that worry you if you're a buyer? Not really. For you, it could be the perfect time to finally make a move from your grossly overpriced rental into home ownership. Low interest rates in hand with slightly lower condo prices make now a good time to get mortgage pre-approval. Treb's president noted that the condo apartment market experienced a pullback in activity, which will continue to improve affordability for first-time home buyers, which is a great thing. While well, condo apartment sales were down by 3.4% on a year-over-year -year basis, new condo apartment listings were up by more than 29%. That means the market became more balanced with prices sitting at about 720,000 in the city of Toronto and around 702,000 in the GTA. The combo of high rent, low interest rates, and reasonably affordable condo prices will be the defining moment for many first-time buyers who are fed up with paying their landlord's mortgage when they could be paying their own. That sucks for real estate investors, but offers a moment of hope for the little guy. CIBC Capital Markets predicts that the central bank will cut interest rates by 125 basis points this year, with a 25% basis points cut expected in June. The bottom line, though, is that until the Bank of Canada actually starts cutting rates, we'll likely see more buyers waiting for concrete proof that they won't be stuck with a 5% or more interest rate on their mortgages. The other possibility is that we see more people braving variable interest rates so they can slip in while condo prices are reasonable and reap the benefits of lower payments when the price drop finally comes. That's not a bad strategy, really. If there were to be any words of caution here, it would be that although interest rates are stuck in a hold position right now, once those policy rates are cut, there is going to be a mad rush of buyers falling over each other to put in offers. It has always happened this way historically, ever since I've been in the real estate game for the last 16 years at least. This will put upward pressure on housing prices. So now might be the better time to act if you can qualify for a mortgage. Are okay with limited risk of variable interest rate and are ready to tell your landlord to scram so you can outsmart the competition. As for sellers, it's a good time to speak to a real estate team Hint, hint, we are a real estate team. Get your home evaluated and target a listing date once those prices start to rise. As always, if you're thinking of making a move or just have questions about the market, don't be shy. We're always here to give you the best advice. Bye for now.